Hey lovelies. This is a building young women moment. Okay. So basically today's moment is about how you know you have overcame competing. Huh? So I think a lot of women you know have a problem with when it comes to competing like when it comes to competing with each other with you know you know everyone know what competing is it's self-explanatory you get it i get it we all have went through that phase i mean that phase spiritually naturally and whatever walk of life you came from we all went through went through that to, or are currently going through this and need some overcoming you know but here are five pointers knowing and telling that you are over competing one of them is you no longer look for others accomplishments you're a goal setter and you just love what you do like you're not looking for oh they did that um i can do a much better job you know you're not thinking about that when you when you are doing your thing when you are setting goals and when you are, are accomplishing these goals you're not thinking about that and you can see other people doing their thing and you just like hey Go girl, get it girl. I'm so happy for you. So that's number one. Number two, you don't seek, you no longer seek accolades or compliments from people. Like um, accolades is basically being acknowledged that you did something. So when you finally do set a goal, you're not seeking people, you know, good job. I'm so proud of you. Like, to me that that's a big deal because when you get to that point that shows growth and it shows that you like I said previously you're doing something you're lo you love you're not seeking competition you're not you, you don't want to be known to do better than the person who's obviously trying to be successful too like it's just it is what it is you're happy like um, three, the third one is you're walking at your own pace. You find your own way, you find your own time because in your own time, you find out that your work is a lot. It, it, it shows that you put your heart into it and it's a lot more successful and it's, um, it shows the hard work. You know, it don't show like you just threw something together. So you're walking at your own pace. And when you take your time with something, it becomes a masterpiece. Like God took his time with me, obviously. I'm just kidding. But yeah, when you take your time with something, it becomes a masterpiece. So if something don't show up next year or this year or ahead of time, like in a split second, it's because it's about to be a masterpiece. Like God is doing something and let him work. Let him work. Let him work in you. Okay. Number four, you find joy in seeing others happy. And I was a person who had a problem with this one. Like seeing other ha people happy is not that I was jealous of them or it may be a part of jealousy, but it's because when you when i try to accomplish something and it fails like it's like god where you at man like i like come on help me out i've been doing this for 15 years and still nothing so yeah i mean it's hard to be happy for someone else when you're steady trying and you steady grinding and you steady working every day and you don't see the purpose of you working every day and, and you don't know what's your purpose. Like it's like you're almost wasting time. And 
when someone else succeed it, it just hurts like it hurts you only take a second for them to succeed and you like lord well they doing this they this and that but you can't do that you gotta worry about yourself find when you find joy in other people's success or other people winning you know you have overcame competing man that's that's legit the truth okay um and the fifth one the fifth one is you accomplish the goal with no inner motive meaning you competed but it was with yourself you know you are better than your past failures and because now you know that and now because you know that um you are your own self and you are always the one in the way like it was always you so what i mean by you accomplish the goal with no inner motive meaning you accomplished it and you wasn't thinking like hey if i get ahead you know i'll be known before this person or i'll be seen before this person like that goal was accomplished because you're like man i'm just excited i don't care what everybody else doing she got there or he got there within one day and this has been five or seven years for me like i'm excited about my journey like like it's at your own pace there was no motive behind it and i want to go back to the walking at your own pace i wrote a scripture down there i don't see how i forgot that but the scripture is ecclesiastes 9 and 11. now this is deep y'all this is this is god like he hitting every pointer okay this is what it says this is the walking at your own pace, right? Here's the scripture. I returned and I saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to man of skill but time and chance happen to them all time and chance happen to them all if that don't touch your spirit something wrong go write that down put it somewhere i don't care god is good time and chance happen to them all and i've been seeking like lord i'm telling to hear i'm telling to hear why am i not known for these great things that i'm good at but it's not about that time and chance happen to them all it all it, it all belongs to god you know everything is in god's timing so don't be discouraged or don't be dismayed or or fearful or scared that you're going to miss out or scared that you're going to be last to be great or scared. At least she'll be first, first of all. But just remember that scripture, Ecclesiastes 9-11. It speaks for itself. You thought it was those closest to you, but sometimes you just gather what you desire out of your own mind and that goes back to because you were in the way of um your own self and by you trying to compete you're thinking it's other people but it's really you it's no one it's just something you're gathering in your mind because the whole time is you you know and you think it's the people your loved ones you think it's uh people don't want greatness for you if they don't something is wrong with them but sometimes it's just stuff that you gather in your mind like we gather a lot of stuff in our mind as women we we have so much downtime like 
We don't have downtime. I, that's a lie. But anyways, we gather so much in our mind. Like we we sit and meditate. Man, they just take it, throw it out the, throw it out their head. They didn't forget what they thought about. Uh, I'm just saying, we just sit there and meditate on stuff. Well, I wonder why she do that though. I don't understand. She she said this, but then she acting like this, and then like then the devil he all up in her, cause I don't know what's wrong with that child. And then man, this is man. Well, I guess he was feeling frustrated because he tired. You know, he just got work. That's why he was acting like that towards me. That's how simple my minded men are. Not even kidding you. Like just chill. You know, and this was, I wrote down too, and I'm going to just put that out there. History on women and, and as far as competing and stuff. So basically I wrote women seem to have, they seem to have to have the best plan. Because anything someone wants to let them know about their goals or something they desire to accomplish it seems like women have to say, well, that's something I wanted to do. That's an idea similar to mine. But you can't just say, hey, friend, you got it. You go, girl. I'm so proud of you. I'm with you 100%. What do you need me to do? You know, we don't want to see each other succeed, and I'm just going to be up front. But why not when we all can get it together? You be happy for one person, I guarantee you it's going to come back a hundredfold. Someone's going to be happy for you. Like, and that's just what it is. But I'm going to leave on that note because I don't want to have any long drawn out videos. Go read your scriptures. It's something for everything in that word. Bye, lovely.